uh, welcome uh, to our lesson today. Uh, remember, we have been dealing with uh, discount. Then today we shall go to commission. Before we go to commission, we shall do the two questions concerning about the discount. Then we proceed to commission. So here there is a question. Uh, you are told uh, one job paid is one thousand. One job paid is one thousand. For a pair of a shirt. For a pair of a shirt. After getting a discount of 5%. After getting a discount of 5%. Uh, then you are told what was the market price. What was the market price of the shirt? What was the market price of the shirt? Uh, the question says one job paid is 1000 for a pair of shirt after getting a discount of 5%. You are told what was the market price of the shirt. So, paid, when you hear paid, one job paid or what I said earlier, that is the selling price of the item. So selling price is 1,000 after getting a discount of 5%. So 5% discount we subtract now 100% minus 5%. Discount is a reduction we subtract always. So 100 minus 5 is 95%. So we want the market price. I said earlier when we're dealing with profit and loss, buying price is 100%. So when it comes to now, market price is always 100%. The same price to market price. So what about ask yourself, what about 100%? After being is 1,000, he was given a discount of 95%. So ask yourself, market price, what about 100%? So cross multiply. One thousand shillings times 100 divided by 95 by 519 by 5 is 200 times 100 you get 20,000 20,000 divided by 19 you get 1,052 and 60 cents so that is the market price how we get uh, the market price that is how we get the market price so we go to now uh, next question uh, you are told here up the bed shillings 724 a book Abdi paid shilling 720 for a book. For a book after getting a discount of 15%. After getting a discount of 15%. After getting a discount of 15%. Uh, then you are told now uh, what was the market price of the book? What was the market price of the book? What was the market price of the book? To the nearest, to the nearest shillings. What was the market price of the book? To the nearest shilling. That is, they are asking the market price now. So you are told Abdi paid uh, shillings uh, 720. Abdi paid shillings 720 uh, for a book after getting a discount of uh, 5 plus uh, 15%. What was the market price of the book? I said Abdi paid. That is the selling price. So selling price, Abdi paid, uh, that is shillings 720 after getting a discount. So discount 15%. So discount 15%, you say 100% minus 15%. So you will get 85%. That is the discount we subtract. What was now the market price? Market price, what I said always, uh, is 100%. Uh, percent. So now, let's ask ourselves what about 100%. So we say now, when he bought the shirt, he paid the shilling 720 he paid the shilling 720, then after he got a discount of 85%. Ask yourself now, what about 100%? We want the market price, always 100%, cross multiply. So you say shilling 720 multiplied by 100 alpha 85. So when you divide this, you will get 847, 847.05. 
but the question is saying to the nearest shillings now they don't want the cent they said to the nearest shillings so we ignore the cents so the market price here will be 847 shillings 847 that is the market price now that is how we get the market price I'm repeating, your toll at the paid shillings, 720 for a book, paid selling price, or both. After getting a discount of 15%, discount 15%, you say 100 minus 15, that's 85%. If you hear market price, ask yourself what about 100%. So, she is 720 was given 85% discount. What about 100% cross multiply? 720 times 100 or for 85, then you will get 847.05. Then you are told now, uh, round off to the nearest shillings now. They don't want the cents, so it is 847. Uh, this is uh, after the decimal, uh, it is less than 5. Then we don't round off, so that is how we get. So, that is the end of now. Uh, the discount we go to now commission we go to now commission and percentage commission We go to now commission and percentage commission. Commission uh, is where now uh, someone is given a job. Uh, for example, some companies, uh, they employ a salesperson uh, to market their goods. So then they pay uh, money on top of their salary. That is what is called now commission. Uh, for example, uh, if your salary, for example, someone will tell you your salary uh, is 15000 if your salary is 15,000, then the person will tell you if you sell this uh, item, you will get a commission of now uh, 6,000. Then your salary now, uh, this will be the basic salary now, and this is the commission now. Then your salary after the end of the month, your salary will be 21,000. So that is how we get. So we have three things. This will be now your total earning now. So there are three things now in commission. We have what is called basic salary. We have basic, we have basic salary. And we have what is called commission, we have what is called commission, and we have what is called total earning. We have what is called total, total earning. We have total earning. So we have these three things. Now, I said your basic salary was 15,000. Your basic salary was 15,000. Then we said, uh -huh, you are given a commission. If you do, you work hard, you will be given a commission of 6,000. This is the commission. And then now, after the end of the month, now you will get your basic salary, well as the commission, then you will get now, at the end of the month, you will get 21,000. So this is the basic salary, and we have uh, now this a formula. How now, uh, how do we get now uh, uh, total earning? Let us start with the total learning. How do we get total learning? This total learning 21, how do we get? Total learning, this 21 we do, we say basic salary, well as the commission. That's how we get now. Uh, total learning. How do we get with this 21? Basic salary 15,000 plus the commission you are told if you work hard you will be given 6,000. That will be your total learning. So our formula now, formula is very important. Total learning is equal to now the basic salary plus the commission will give you the total learning. Now, how do we get now, uh, how do we get this commission now? If I have now, uh, if I have the basic salary and the total earning, and then someone will ask you now, get the commission now. How do I get with this 6,000? Basic salary is 15. Total earning is 21,000. So, someone will tell you my basic salary was 15. At the end of the month, I got now 21,000. There is something that has been added here. Here, so that I, I earned this. So this asking now, what is the commission? How do we get commission now? What do we do now? Twenty-one thousand minus fifteen thousand, you will get six thousand. How do we get now the commission now? Commission is equal to now. We say commission is equal to the total earning. Commission is equal to now total earning minus the basic salary. That is how we get commission. So commission is equal to now total earning minus the basic, total earning minus the basic salary. How do we get this basic salary now? Commission was 6,000, let's say. How do we get now the basic salary? This basic salary, for example, we don't have, let's say this 15,000 we don't have. How do we get the basic salary now? So this 15,000 we say 21,000 
minus the commission now. So we say now basic salary is equal to uh, total earning minus the uh, commission. That is how we get uh, uh, the formula for getting those things you should know. So our formula is basic salary is equal to total earning minus the commission. Commission is equal to total earning minus the basic salary. Total earning is equal to basic salary plus commission. Total plus, the rest are minus, minus. Only the total uh, earning is what we add, the basic salary and the, and the commission now. Uh, how do we, now also there's another way we can get a uh, commission uh, when you are given percentage uh, commission. How do we get commission now? Commission now, when you are given now percentage commission, so we get commission when you're given percent, commission is equal to percentage commission, commission is equal to percentage commission alpha 100 times the value of goods sold, times the value of the goods, times the value of the goods sold. So the value of goods sold means uh, the value of that item you sold is what we multiply. So when you're given commission, you say commission is equal to, there are two formulas for getting commission. When you're given this basic salary, you use the formula total earning minus basic salary. But when you're given the percent one, for example, they will give you 5%, 4%. How do you get commission? You say the percent commission you are given time is the value of goods sold. The, the, the item sold all for 100, that is how we get. And now how do we get now uh, the value of goods sold now? So value of good sold, we get, we say, value of good sold, value of goods, value of good sold is equal to now commission, time is 100, alpha percentage commission. That's how we get now. So that's how we get the value of good sold. Value of good sold, you say, the commission you are given, multiplied by 100, all for the percent commission you will be given. So these are the formulas now we shall be doing now as some questions. Now here there is a question you are told, Njeru is paid a commission of 10%. Njeru is paid. Njeru is paid. A commission of 10 percent. In Jeru is paid a commission of 10 percent for every sale he makes. For every sale he he makes. For every sale he makes. Then you are told one day he sold six sufrias. One day he sold six sufrias he sold six sufrias at shillings 160 each at shillings 160 at shillings 160 each then the question is asking now how much money did he get as commission how much money did he get as commission how much money did he get as commission? That's what they are asking. So let us see. You are told in Jeru is paid a commission of 10%. Nabata Dalaria 10%. So 10% for every sale he makes. For every sale he makes. So 10% commission. So commission, we have the percent commission. So we have 10%. Uh -huh. For every sale he makes. One day he sold six sufrias at the shillings 160 each, six sufrias at shillings 160 each. So we say 160 each sufria, and there are six times six, and now zero, six, carry three, 960. <laughs> so when you hear sold or sell, when you hear sell or sold, that is the value of good sold. So this is the value of the good sold now. When you hear sold, sell, good sold worth, that is the, when you hear S, sold, sell, so that is the value of good sold now. So we have now, the value of good sold now is shillings 960, because they say that is the sell. The sell is the value of the good sold. Then the question is asking, how much commission will he get? So they are asking now commission. 
they are asking commission. I said earlier, the commission, there are two ways we can get. When you are happy, when you are given a basic salary and total earning, we said commission is equal to total earning uh, minus the basic salary. But we don't have a basic salary and total earning, so we, don't, we will not use that formula. There's another formula for getting commission, I said. Commission is equal to, when you are given percent, commission is equal to percentage commission. Mm -hmm. We have, that is 10%. Mm -hmm. Time is the value of goods sold. Mm -hmm. Time is the value. Time is the value of goods sold all for 100 so we have now so commission so we say commission is equals to percent commission time is the value of good sold all for 100 we say that that's the formula so we have them so let us say now percentage commission which is 10 multiplied by now value of good sold sold that is shillings 9 shillings 960 all for 100 the formula is saying all for 100 cancel 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 one time is 96 so you will get shillings 96 that is the commission now that is the commission that is the commission now that is the commission so it's very simple it's a matter of cramming the formula you are told in jerry jeru is paid uh, shillings 10 for every sales he make that is commission 10 percent you list one day he sold when you hear sold or sell, I say that is the value of goods sold. So he sold six freeas at shillings 160 each. So 160 times six. So the total money for the six freeas is shillings 960. That is the value of goods sold. We list value of goods sold, shillings 960. Then we are lucky they are asking commission. Commission is equal to when you are given percent, percentage commission, which is 10 percent, times the value of goods sold, which is 960, all for 100 now, cancel, cancel, then you will get shillings 96. That is how we get uh, the commission. That is how we get that commission. <laughs> Uh, here is another question. Uh, you are told a salesman is paid a salesman is paid a salary of shillings twenty five hundred per month. A salesman is paid shillings two thousand five hundred per month per month uh -huh. then you are told under commission of three percent and a commission of three percent and a commission of three percent of the value of items of the value of items of the value of items uh, then you are told in one month a value of items he sells sorry he sells so then you are told, uh, in one month, in one month, in one month, uh, he sold goods worth. He sold goods worth. He sold goods worth of shillings forty-three five hundred of shillings four thousand forty-three thousand five hundred. Then you are told, how much money did he earn that month? How much uh, money? How much money did he earn that month? How much money did he earn that month? How much money did he earn that month? So let us see. Uh, you are told a salesman is paid shillings. A salesman is paid shillings 2,500. A salesman is paid uh, a salary. A salesman is paid a salary of shillings. A salesman is paid a salary. Sorry. A salary of a salesman is paid a salary of shillings 2,500. So a salary. So we have the basic salary. If you hear salary, that is the basic salary. So basic salary shillings 2,500. We list what we have. A salesman is paid a salary. If you hear salary, that's the basic salary. Uh -huh. A commission of three uh percent. -huh. We have commission. We have commission uh, three percent. We have commission three percent. That is the percentage commission, a commission of 3%. Uh -huh. Then we say that now, uh -huh, a value of goods sold he sell. In one month, he sold goods worth, goods worth. I said he sold 
good soil. That is the that is the value of good soil. That is the value of good soil. So value of good soil, uh huh, shall I say, forty three five hundred. So that's the value of good soil. Uh -huh. Then you are told how much money did he earn that month. You are told how much money did he earn that month. So let us now. We have the basic salary. We have the commission percent. We have the value of good soil. So if you're here now, how much did he earn that month? If you hear how much did he earn that month? This one, what they're asking is the total earning. They're asking total earning. How much did he earn? That is the total earning always. So let us, total earning. How do we get total earning? We said now, total earning is equals to basic salary plus commission. We said that. Total earning is equals to basic salary plus commission. Basic salary we have, five. Commission we don't have. We must get the commission first. After getting the commission, it will be easy for us to get the total earning. How do we get the commission when given percent? So commission is equal to now percentage commission times the value of goods sold alpha 100. We said that. So to get the commission. So commission now percent commission, which is 3 percent, multiplied by value of goods sold, 43,500 alpha uh, 100 alpha 100 so cancel cancel so we multiply now 435 times 3 15 carry 1 9 plus 1 10 0 carry 1 total plus 1 13 so you get 13 shillings 13 0 5 15 carry 1 9 10 carry 1 total plus 1 13 this is now the commission if they will have asked the commission, this will have been the answer. But they don't want the commission. You are told how much did he earn. That is the total earning. Total earning is equal to basic, equals to basic salary plus commission. Our basic salary here was uh, shillings 2,500. So shillings 2,500 was our basic salary we are given. He was paid a salary. Plus now the commission, which is 13,05. Shillings 13,05. So let us add now. 2500 plus 1305 you get 5083 so you will get uh, shillings 3805 this is the total earning now that is the total earning that will be the total earning very common in examination so there are uh, so there are two questions in one question you must get the commission first then you proceed to the total learning so you are told a salesman is paid a salary of shillings 2500 per month salary if you hear that is the basic salary so i've listed the basic salary you list uh -huh. a commission he be an earn a commission of three percent he will get a commission of three percent for a value of good sold so commission percent that is the percentage commission three percent in one month now he sold a good worth of shillings for the 43,500 value of goods sold 43,500 sold sell that is the value of goods sold take care so how much did he earn if you hear how much did he earn in the question of a commission that is the total earning so we must get the total earning now then I came here I said total earning is equals to the basic salary plus the commission basic salary plus the commission basic salary was given but commission I don't have I only have the percentage commission let us get the commission first how do we get the commission when you are given percent Commission is equal to the percentage commission, which is 3, times the value of wood sold, which is 43,500, which is 43,500, uh -huh, all for 100. Cancel, cancel. She is 43, 435 times 3, you will get 13, 13, 0, 5, 1,305. Then that is the commission now. They don't want the commission. They are asking the total earning. Total earning is equal to the basic salary plus the commission. Basic salary, which was 2,500 plus 13, 0, 5, you will get the total earning of this guy will earn total of shillings 38,05. That is how we get the total earning. So we do now uh, the last question. We move to now to the last question. You are told a farm charges customer farm charges customer two and a half percent. Commission for cashing commission for cashing 
for caching, I check. For caching, I check how much did, did a customer pay? How much did a customer how much did a customer pay? How much did a customer uh, pay for cashing? For cashing a check. For cashing a check. For shillings four hundred. For shillings four hundred. Now this guy he charges a commission of two and a half percent for cashing a check. If you take a check, for if you cash a check, you'll be given a commission. You'll be charged a commission of two and a half percent. Then how much did the customer pay now? If he if he take a cash of four hundred, yani every every one hundred you'll be charged two and a half. If I take now she is four hundred, how much will I be charged? That's what they are saying now. So now two and a half percent. This is now the percentage commission now. So we say uh, two and a half percent. You can say two point five percent, or two and a half percent is the same. So let us get now the commission now. They, they want us to get the the commission that you will be. So now how do we get the commission now? We say commission is equals to percentage commission, which is two point five. Uh, time is now the money, which is shillings, 400. Alpha now, uh, 100. Alpha 100. So we said, how do we get commission? We say commission is equals to uh, percentage commission times the value of the money divided by 100. That's how we get, we wrote that, that formula now. So we divide, we multiply now, cancel. Uh, we say cancel. Let us now uh, multiply this. So we say uh, 2.5 time is now for 20 carry 2 uh, 8 10 point now so this is now uh, how we get uh, the commission that the person will earn so they only want the commission they don't want anything else so that's how we get the commission so it's shilling 10 now you are told a farmer charges a customer two and a half percent i said for easy way you can change it into a proper fraction you can make it 0.5 is the same the way you verify so we say a farmer charges a customer 2.5 percent so commission we have percentage commission is two and a half or 2.5 percent how much did the customer pay for cashing a check a check of shell is 400 so let us get now the commission commission is equals to percentage commission which is 2.5 time is the amount of the money goods which is 400 or 400 now cancel cancel 2.5 times 4 you will get shillings 10 that is the commission this person will get so uh, for today we shall stop it there and that is the end of the commission i wish you all the best thank you